I don't know who needs to hear this, but I want you to be a little bit more difficult this year. I want you as a performer to demand more, to be more particular, to be more choosy, okay? It's 2024. We are no longer saying, well, I guess it's up to you or whatever you think looks best or sounds best, I think is the way to go. Or this is what I want, but it's totally okay if you can't do it. Uh, no worries either way. No, we're not doing that anymore. We are being direct. We are being upfront and we are being particular. I can already hear some people saying, well, I don't want to do that because I don't want to be labeled as a diva or as a bitch. But honestly, my whole thing is like, what does that even mean now? Like, when did being a diva even become a bad thing? Like, what is diva behavior? And doesn't it just mean like getting what you want? I don't think that's a bad thing. I think in general, of course, like the stereotype of being a diva is that you're a performer that makes unrealistic or unreasonable demands at the expense of others. Julia Brimmer says in her article, Divas, the double standard that female performers experience, that the word diva derived from the Italian word for goddess and first became used in the English language to refer to an opera company's female singer. However, by the time female performers took over mainstream music by the 70s, the term diva became more of a go-to descriptor for a self-important person who is temperamental or very difficult to please, difficult to work with, which was of course typically used uh, to describe female performers or used to describe a woman. I think performers of course should always treat people and treat everyone with respect. Listen to others, have patience, treat people how you want to be treated. Now, I don't know where the disconnect is with that because wanting what you want and wanting things to look and sound a certain way and wanting a certain level of excellence or perfection, I think that's that doesn't make you difficult. I think that just makes you, I mean, it makes it makes you a genius. No, it makes you an artist. And I think that's, we can look at many artists and say, you know, because they are so picky and so particular, that's why their art is so pristine. And it is so remarkable uh, when you look back on the things that they've accomplished. And it's because they were so very particular about the things that they wanted. Now, I think all performers should always treat people, everybody with respect, no matter what, no matter who it is, listen to others, have patience, treat people how you want to be treated. I did spend a lot of time earlier in my career being overly nice or people pleasing because I was so scared to come off as a bitch or as a diva uh, in a negative way. But that's not really my, that's not my regular personality. I'm like a very nice and sociable person in general. And it takes a lot for me to actually be mad and you know, get aggressive with people. Like I'm never going to come out of my character, especially not in a work environment, but I've definitely had to do some work on myself when it comes to my assertiveness and my directness. I was just uh, saying this to my friend the other day is that why is it that I can say what I want or I can be clear about my demands for lack of a better word or the things that I need and want when it comes to my work why can I be direct and say things nicely five times for it to only fall on deaf ears because I was nice and friendly and the only thing that moves the needle is when I have to say something in a stern tone and then I have to come off as a bitch or as an aggressive person and it's just like well it didn't have to get that far when you know you could have just listened to me the in the first place so i think a lot of times you know things happen to where it's like you only saw me blowing up <laughs> you only saw me you know becoming you know becoming a bitch about it because i had said what i wanted nicely five other times and it wasn't translating like it wasn't penetrating so i had to say something in a tone for it to for it to, you know, make an impact. And I hate that that's the case, but what do they say? War only moves things. As a woman, and especially as a black woman, I feel like we may be negatively stereotyped to act a certain way. So maybe we might change our behavior when it comes to that without even noticing that we're doing it. And I've definitely been guilty of this. I will be hyper aware of myself and hypersensitive, hyper aware of how I interact with others because I'm really in my head about not wanting 
wanting to be labeled as a diva or wanting to be labeled as a, like an angry black woman <laughs> when I'm in certain uh, difficult situations, work situations. But I hate that becoming a diva, being a diva has like a negative connotation because being a person who is particular and a person that knows what they want, uh, they know what their art is supposed to look like, sound like, be like, I want that for performers. I think that that's a good thing, to be honest. It's perfectly reasonable for you to have what you need <laughs> and what you want. It's not reasonable to be rude. It's not reasonable to be aggressive and mean. Of course, you know, again, always treat people with respect, but it's very important that you have what you need and what you want and that people respect you uh, for that. Never be afraid to ask nicely at first, of course, and always lead with kindness and don't allow negative perceptions or inner hesitations hold you back for fear of being judged. And as long as you are remaining respectful, you will be fine. In extreme cases, I can see where the negative stereotypes come from. No green M&Ms, right? But more realistically, I do don't think that you should be labeled a diva or a devo for being self-assured, confident, or knowing what you want, because ironically, that's what people love about performers in the first place, is that they are confident and they have that powerful presence. I would love to know what you all think about this topic, and please leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure that you follow me on Instagram, follow me on all the socials, listen to my music, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video.